What about James Mason's performance? Well, of course, James Mason at the time was uh, very outspoken in that uh, the rank organisation only gave him uh, parts like the Wicked Lady and uh, other trivialities. Um, uh, the Seventh Veil, I suppose, would have come in that uh, as well. Here he is making a rank film for uh, a major director which I think Reed was by this time, though this film obviously uh, stepped him up uh, one stage further. Uh, and he was um, being given an opportunity to play a part which I'm sure he himself regarded as being uh, a serious and and uh, an important dramatic role. Uh, uh, Mason, of course, uh, not all that long afterwards, uh, left Britain and uh, went to live in California, uh, where he thought he would get uh, uh, better roles, which he probably did do. Um, and then he, he did, of course, work for Reed just once more um, on The Man Between, which probably wasn't the best choice of subject either for, for either of them. Uh, that the Reed was uh, possibly trying to do for Berlin uh, in The Man Between what he had done for Vienna in The Third Man. Uh, and I, uh, it is true that, in fact, uh, they had great difficulty in finding uh, places on location in Berlin that w were sufficiently rubble-strewn uh, to, 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 to do duty for the uh, immediate post-war period in which it was supposed to be set. So. Um, and, and I think there were other problems in that, uh, uh, that, that uh, they, they had to leave Berlin earlier than they had intended. Uh, uh, I mean, partly because they, they ran out of work and had to uh, uh, build sets in the studio to give them what they needed. Um, uh, but it's, it's a great pity because it, quite obviously uh, Reed inspired Mason to some of his best work, and Mason, I think, enjoyed the challenge. Um, but it's interesting to think, uh, with uh, the person who, I suppose, became more completely identified with uh, uh, the, the man role in uh, in Reed's film, uh, who is Trevor Howard. Uh, that. Uh, the, whether he actually replaced Mason or whether Carol Reed thought that he was uh, more completely uh, an embodiment of the uh, uh, the male, the, uh, the central, I won't say hero figure, uh, that, that he wanted in his films. Uh, I think there's probably a, a thesis to be written on uh, the Mason and and the uh, the Howard role in the in, in the films of Carol Reed.